Your is good, yo. It's your boy time back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. And yes, guys, we do see a bunch of new Magic Johnsons as well as Larry Birds added into the game today. Now, the question of the day is, do any of the new Magics or Larry Birds crack this squad? Well, guys, I, I don't want to let any of you guys down, but the answer is no. None of those cards do indeed crack my squad. It's not that those cards are bad. It's just that there are better cards in my team right now. As far as the My Team Anniversary set goes, guys, you guys can do what you want as far as locking this in. I just can't recommend it to anybody. As far as clutch time is concerned, guys, I am really close to Chris Webber. I am eight wins away, eight stinking wins away. So today is Tuesday. Hopefully by Thursday, I have Chris Webber. The weekend, I can get my limited ring. And then we'll maybe hoop in my team unlimited, maybe getting through like the Ruby tier or something like that. That would be a good goal for me. Expect content within the next week to be over. So for me, I need Chris Weber to end off my no money spent squad series. My opponent has Jokic and is running him at the center position. Look, I just don't think that is the right way to go about things if you do have Jokic. Running him at center just seems like an absolute waste. He's doing settings, but little does he know I already got four points. So, I mean, it's, it's tough to overcome already. Yup. Yup, it's good defense. It's good D, me. Run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. You're doing this? Hit Reem. Hit Reem. Hit Reem. You know what Reem gets into. it. Yo, after this game, we're going to go ahead and apply some badges to Kareem to make him Zeus. Nah, bro. I don't know who Ty Debo is, man. Bro, what? Who's Ty? Uh, I sound like a YouTuber? Oh, that's interesting. Hey, man. I appreciate you. Yes, sir, Brody. Enjoy. Jokic, Jokic at the center is crazy, though. I gotta say. Oh, you like, is it end game, MJ? I feel you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Reem's definitely tough. Yep, much love, baby. I love, I love, uh, I love opponents that get on the mic and just show nothing but love and positivity, man. That, 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 that's big love. All right, right there. Now, now he back in the game already? He said he not very good. Um, you're not very good and you're about, but yo, uh, he, he said I'm not very good. Yeah, and now he about beating me. Like, huh? Thank you. Push him out of bounds. He picked MJ out of the, out of the choice pack. I just... I don't know if that's the best option. Now, I'm not going to say that to him, but picking MJ out of the choice pack is it when there's Giannis and Braun and all those other guys. If he really loved my videos, man, I don't know if he would have picked MJ. Just throwing that one out. Yo, I missed that. Throwing that one out there because I, I think he's one of the worst options to choose. But got to do what you got to do is I knocked down another three ball. We're up eight right now. Starting to extend our lead a little bit. Yup, that's mine. Yo, that's a good tween right there. Y'all wanna see me on ball? I got stick. Yup, I got stick. Yup. From MJ World. Hey, quick stop. Hey, who needs a quick stop? When I'm knocking down a four pointer right there. Look at MJ go. Yup, look at MJ. And I'm badging Reem out right after this game. So don't even don't even trip, man. Don't even trip. Take a trip. Because my Kareem. Did I say I'm badging out MJ? I'm badging out Reem after this game. And don't even trip, because he's basically going to be the invincible after what I do to him. Yup, four. Yup, and we're going to run. Hey, quick stop. Never mind. Quick stop. Hey, quick stop. Quick stop. Quick stop his shoes off, Ty. Come on, yup. I told y'all what was going to happen. Y'all ain't believe me, but I told y'all. Tried telling y'all. Come on. Y'all see what I did. It was like 9 to 7. Now it's 25 to 7. Y'all know what I get into. Look at the on-ball defense. For all y'all in my comments saying, Ty, Ty, why don't you on-ball? Ty, why don't you? Play that good at defense and he still scores.
He got me boxed right now. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. Krabby Patty! He had me that box, and I still got a green out of it. That is really, really tough. We ended up winning the game by 19 points. Shout out to my opponent. Mark Eaton. I, 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 if I play 100 games, Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Welcome home, Mark, man. Welcome home. I was just talking about you, man. Literally just talking about Mark Eaton and about how I will be sad if I did not get the man with the planet, you guys see the dark matter glow. Welcome, Mark Eaton home. Yes, guys, it glitched. I don't really care. I got big Mark. The bad part is, the, the, the real thing is, okay, where do I put Mark Eaton? I'm going to put him in my clutch time lineup right now because I, I can. But I'm going to have to, this is the trial run for Mark Eaton to see how good the card really is. So for all y'all Mark Eaton stands, here we go. I'm just kind of shocked because it went into like a cutscene and I wasn't sure. And, and so when it landed on Mark, I was like stunned. I was shocked. Okay, Kobe, Magic, MJ, and he's running Zion Williamson, bro. How do you have all these end games and you're running Galaxy Opal Zion at your center position? How does that even happen, bro? Now my game is spiking. For what? I don't know. Mark, okay. Maybe the release on Mark Eaton isn't as bad as I initially thought it was. Maybe I, maybe Mark Eaton is better than, than I'm giving him credit for. Okay. Okay, Big Mark. Bro, this, this, this set shot is crazy, bro. Good D. Good D, board. Yo, got it. Y'all got to be kidding me. Y'all got to be kidding me, man. Why is Zion snagging on y'all, bro? I'm not giving this up. You think I'm giving something up? You are crazy. Please, yo, this has to be stopped, bro. Whatever I'm seeing right now has to be stopped. This is horrible. Please give me a board. Golly gee, man. Zion got 9,000 rebounds. I got Mark Eaton and Taco out here, but I just saw Zion snag on y'all, man. That's crazy to me. Thank you, Luca. Thank you, Luca. Yup. 7-0 to zero already. That, that's, uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's only going to get worse, too. It's only going to get worse, too. Uh-oh. It is 11 to 0. How badly can I beat this guy? Let's let's play a game, you know what I'm saying? How badly is this going to end up being? Good defense. You have got to be kidding me. Y'all let him make that with no momentum? Three. Oh my gosh. Luca just in on this game. If you're not running Luca, there's something wrong with you and your squad. Yep. I shouldn't say there's something wrong with you, but your squad, they're definitely... Yo, what? This game is horrible. This game is literally horrible. Come on. I'm hoping, though, right now. Game is horrible, but I'm hoping right now, so it don't matter, man. We're putting on a show. Mark Eaton, I'm still not necessarily sure about you, right? I'm still having having some, some holdups with you, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's get you another shot here. Okay, big Mark. Chill. I will see you later. Bye bye. Yep, I already got Marky. And so now, look, anything at this point is icing on the cake. You know, cherry on top. That's what we've got going on right now. I'll take diamond consumables, MT, anything 2K wants to bless me with. I will take at this point. I'm just super excited, super ecstatic that they blessed me with Mark Eaton. Next opponent here, Jokic, Harden, as well as Weber, Reem, and Wilt. He has an all end game squad. I'll never have an all end game squad. It is what it is. That will never be me. But you know what I got? I got Luka Doncic. So I feel like end games are kind of a blessing. I mean, they are a blessing, right? The cards are good, but unless you're running Luka, it doesn't matter. Like if you're running Jokic over Luka, the end game is just brainwashing you. It just doesn't make sense. So, I mean, that's that's my opinion. You guys can disagree if you want, but I just feel like a lot of people just get brainwashed thinking end games are the only cards, which is just not true. Yo, that's gonna thank you. Yup, that's off. No way. Yup, come on, run. Oh my gosh, Mark. Yo, what are these dribble sigs? Yo, these dribble sigs for Mark Eaton are horrible. I'll take it, but those. I'll take, yo, that's a good possession. Chris Webber's release is just so quick. That's that's the reason I want him so much is because his release is so quick and I feel like it's going to be easy to time too. 
Y'all gotta be kidding me. Oh my God, thank, thank the Lord he shot a four there, Green. Thank the Lord he shot a four right there. I needed a, a stop badly in 2K, bless me right there. Thank you, y'all gotta be trolling. D me. Get up. This dude, Chris Weber, just got it, man. His release is impossible to contest. Green. Oh, my goodness, Luca. You're just putting on a show, putting on a clinic on how to hoop in my team. Mark Ian, you might not seem like he's doing too much, but he got two big rebounds for me. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, please. Look at Big Mark. Look at Big Mark in the lanes. Look at Big Mark eating in the lanes, making some things shake. I love it what I'm seeing. I just don't like his release. As long as he knocks down whites, I don't care. But I hate the release of Marky, and I hate it. Do y'all think I've been slandering Marky eating too much? Is the card actually souped? I don't know. I'm still struggling to kind of grasp the Mark Eaton concept and the fact that I even got him. So we are into our 96th game. Four wins away for Weber. Let's get a stop. That's what it starts with. It all starts with a stop. Let's see. Yo, he just running around. What? Four. Yo, and we're gone. Four and we're gone. Mark time. Ew, that release is just despicable. But it doesn't matter. I mean, the release can be bad. I don't really care. As long as as long as you do some other things on the court well, which you do, I don't really care. I wish I would start with the ball. Like, me not starting with the ball is so troll. This game is just crazy the fact that i'm able to make that with luca is just crazy to me i'll take it though good shot luca you know what i'm saying but it's bad at that you know what i'm saying it's bad gosh man that's my fault Giannis for three golly man come on ty be better green needed luca good shot Come on, Ty, give me a dang stop. You shot that. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You shot. I mean, it should have been your free board. I'll give you credit where it's due, but are you crazy? Yo, MJ, he just dogging him. The MJ and Luca duo is undefeated. I don't care who you are. This duo is so much. It is just too much in my team. I don't know what else there is to do or say. I don't need anybody else to ever do anything offensively. These guys hold it down with the best of them. Yup, that's mine too. I got Taco rotated. I got I got Mark Eaton now rotated. I'm a 19 to 5. I, I just... He running out of bounds. <laughs> nah, at this stage, I honestly feel kind of bad. It's not my opponent's fault that I'm just out here dogging him. Like, it's not. It's not his fault. But at the same time, if you're not running MJ or Luca and, and them both, I, I do not feel bad for you. Like I just don't. Right now we're four wins away from Weber. So what happens when I get Chris Weber? Well, either Giannis or Kawhi is probably gone, or maybe I'll sell Supernova T Mac, move Kawhi to that too. Plug in Chris Weber. I'll probably also sell Ralph. I don't want to, but just plugging in a free version of Mark Eaton just makes the most sense. I'm definitely going to sell Chris Depp's poor Zingas. So we'll start, you know, moving the needle in the right direction as far as the MT is concerned. Because eventually, I do want to upgrade my uh, Yao. I do want to upgrade my Taco. And so, you know, those next steps that are, are ones I'm probably eventually going to have to take. So we'll see what KP is going for because he's going to be the first guy I ultimately do go through and sell today. He's actually going for like 20000 which kind of a downfall, but it is what it is at the end of the day. I can't worry about that. One last thing we were doing before our episode ends today is yes, we are finishing where we need our Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to get. So... Kareem, I know he needs Limitless. I know he needs Chef. I know he needs those badges. So let's put some on him. Get Chef. 
He limitless. I know he can get these badges too. I think he needs catch and shoot too. So I'm going to get that one as well to really just make him an absolutely dynamic player on, you know, on the offensive end of the court mainly. We know defensively what Kareem Abdul-Jabbar can do, but offensively, I, I need Kareem to be at his best. So going to give him these Hall of Famers, make him that little bit better. And I'm going to start with these two, but we're going to apply all of them that he needs. So let's go to my lineup. Go to Kareem. Let's make Kareem go. Give him Chef. Yup. Give him uh, Give him Limitless. Yup. Perfect. Just like that. Sniper. Deadeye. Those are two more uh, badges he could maybe use. Blinders possibly as well. Maybe giving him a badge like Handles for Days. I don't think I'm going to handle the ball too much with him, but it can't hurt anything. But definitely Sniper and Deadeye. So I see Sniper right here. Yup. Going to put this one on him and then give him Deadeye as well. You might as well use your Hall of Fame badges. I mean, it's August 2nd, guys. You might as well make these cards what they need to be. And so I'm going to do exactly that. And I don't even know if Deadeye is in the auction house right now. I don't really see it anywhere. Am I missing it? I don't see it. So hopefully, I, I again, I don't think they're going to add any more badges. I, he needs blinders as well, though. So maybe I'll give him blinders instead of Deadeye because I don't even see where Deadeye is at. But again, we're just trying to make my Kareem one of the top power forwards in the game without having to spend that much MT on him. So we're going to just add these few more shooting badges to make Kareem literally it in my team because he's already it. He is just going to be even better at that. Give him sniper. So when he shoots fools, he's going to make him give him blinders. Yep. My Reem went from being very good to absolutely elite. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.